The UK's graduate route scheme, which is quite popular with Indian students as a post-study work offer, is safe for now as the British government announced that it will be kept under review. But this as it set out proposals to crack down on student visas to ensure that they're not used as a gateway to immigration. But the measures followed the Office for National Statistics revealing a 10% fall in net migration, welcomed by the British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak on the first official day of his campaign for a general election that is now set for the 4th of July. Curbing migration, legal as well as illegal, is among the British Indian leader's top priorities as he makes his case to the electorate. But under further tougher measures, the UK Home Office has said it will regulate the recruitment of international students, cracking down on rogue recruitment agents who encourage people to apply to British universities by actually mandating universities to sign up to a stringent framework for agents. But take a look at how Indian students in the UK are reacting to this latest development. A graduate route is uh, the route which gives time to breathe. That's what I would say to the students when they complete their degree. They have time to get in some experience in their fields and uh, spend some time to build their career before they decide how they want to progress in terms of their professions. I think that post-study visa give you the chances and exposure of using your knowledge, whatever you studied over here and working in like a different sectors part of across UK. And it gives you a boost to your career, even if professional, even if you're experienced. And that's the reason I think that post-study work visa was very important to us. Many of the students do invest a lot to have their higher education abroad. And not being able to stay back and have a work exposure after you've studied enough, I think that would really impact your career in a bad way. Because a lot of a lot of them come here just to have a job exposure in the UK, uh, in an abroad market. And I think that would definitely impact their uh, future plans and what they had to what they have planned in the for themselves in their long run. For further clarity on the latest developments, we have with us Chairperson of the National Indian Students and Alumni Union UK, Sanam Arora. Thanks so much, Sanam, for joining us on the World 24-7. So the graduate route is safe at least until the election, when a newly elected government will take a decision on its future course. But did you breathe a sigh of relief? It's good news, right, for international students, especially Indian students in the UK? I think it is a time for celebration. I, for one, am definitely opening a glass of wine tonight. Uh, it's been a long and hard-fought battle. Uh, for now, the graduate route is safe, according to the government's report. And um, I think Indian students should relax. And, you know, I think we can put all the uncertainty behind us for now. Of course, the government has said is that they're going to keep it under review. So, uh, but, you know, there's not going to be any change before a general election. There's certainly, I think there's a bit of, hopefully a bit of calm now. But, you know, with reference to the graduate route, the UK Home Office has taken note of the Migration Advisory Committee's warning in a rapid review last week that we had discussed that rogue recruitment agents actually pose a threat to the system with poor practices exploiting students and graduate visa holders who are missold UK higher education. Has the UK government indicated how they plan to do this? So I think the uh, recommendation to crack down on rogue recruitment agents was something that I had been, to be honest, Nisau has been campaigning for it for about a decade now, almost 10 years. We've been saying that these rogue agents need to be controlled. And I'm really, really glad we made the recommendation to the Migration Advisory Committee, which clearly the government has accepted, uh, that these agents need to be um, controlled and managed because at the moment there is no regulatory framework. Any Tom, Dick and Harry sitting in Karol Bagh in Delhi can become a her a recruitment agent advising students on where to put 50, 60, 70, 100,000 pounds of their hard-earned money of their family or education loans, advising them on career services. I have seen so many occasions where you have 20, 22-year-old career counselors who themselves are fresh out of university, many occasions may not have even stepped out of the out of India, who are advising younger people on study abroad options. I mean, and the amount of shady behavior I've seen on by, by a certain small number, but a small number of unscrupulous behavior in the market does, does exist. And so I'm very glad that the government is uh, 
focusing on this. I think that's the right thing. That is what we had requested the MAC uh, for as well. So definitely welcome it. In terms of how the government now puts it into action remains to be seen. They've requested, they, what they've said is that there's going to be uh, firstly stricter compliance uh, that universities will need to um, be subject to. And secondly, they are asking for a mandatory registration system of recruitment agents through which behaviors would be controlled. The key thing from my perspective is that registration is one thing, but the key thing is that bad behavior needs to be penalized. Absolutely. That is something that's been lacking so far. So if some agent has done something shady somewhere, they could just pack up whatever company, let's say in India exists right now, and set up shop in another name, the same agent set up shop in another uh, company name under an, uh, another aggregate a platform for example or, or with one of the other master agents so that's where I think how are you going to penalize bad behavior is something that we are uh, definitely going to be focusing on and we'll work with all the sector stakeholders here in the UK around that because this is about student outcomes at the end of the day if a student suffers if a single student suffers because of mis-selling by um, a consultant or an agent then then ultimately that's that's horrible from my perspective for 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 the sector so that's what we're focused on of course Thanks so much, Sanam, as always, for joining us on The World 24-7.